All right, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to import your own drum samples into Logic Pro X or your own drum kits. This is because all of Logic's drum kits suck at and uh, you're gonna want some better kits and there's a bunch of free kits online that you can find or if you wanna buy some kit packs. If you wanna buy a bunch of drum kits online, that's cool because a bunch of YouTubers kinda of sell out and sell those. So you could do that if you want. But yeah, I'm just gonna kinda of show you the easiest way and just explain it very quickly how you can get your own drum kit in Logic Pro X. So first you need your drum kit. You could just type in free drum samples online. Audio files are universal, so it doesn't matter what DAW you're using. I just happen to have some boom bat drums right here. So let's say I want to import these kicks. I want to import them and just use those and play them on my MIDI controller. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go right here to the instrument track or to a, what well, you're going to want to create a software instrument track. And then on your instrument, just go to EXS24. I'm going to go to stereo. Once you get this window, you're going to want to hit edit. Now, if you're trying to follow along and you don't have this edit button, every tutorial about this, everyone mentions that you need to go to Logic Pro X, preferences, advanced tools, and then just show advanced tools and make sure advanced editing is checked. And then you will have this button. That's it. There's no like secret tricks. That's all you got to do. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my kicks in here. Start on C1. And we're done. Now, this is where it gets kind of weird. Uh, if pitch is selected, then if you drag these kits out, like these kicks, your kicks are going to start getting tuned. If you don't want this, then uncheck it, select them all. Command A, uncheck it. If it's a desired effect, then keep it on. That's just something I thought I'd mention. And then make sure you save it as something that's normal. So just go to save as and name your kit. I probably don't want these kicks, so I'm not gonna save it because that'll confuse me later when I'm trying to find some good ones. But yeah, that's, that's all you gotta do. And once you have them saved, they're gonna appear right here. I have a lot of different ones. This just happens to be my favorite. All right, sorry about the technical difficulties. Logic Pro X is being a little but it sounds like shit right now, but you get the point. That's all you have to do for your samples. Now, this is a few, if you want hi-hats and if you want an open hi-hat that stops on the snare, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't listen to me. Click mono because then when you hit the open hi-hat and then the closed hi-hat, the close will stop when the, Never mind. But yeah, that's all you got to do to import your own drum kits. Just make sure you don't move the files around that you're using to sample because then Logic will lose them and then you'll have to put your samples back in or locate your samples. But yeah, that's all you got to do. And I really recommend using your own drum kits in Logic Pro X and there's perfectly fine ones that are free. So that's all I got to say. Sampling in Logic Pro X, the EXS24 is probably the most underutilized thing in Logic Pro X. It's probably the only instrument that I use nowadays. Sampling drums and sampling songs in Logic Pro X is very easy when you're using the EXS24. So I really recommend using it and getting used to it because your music's gonna get a lot better. All right, until next time. Also, Logic Pro X drums suck.